Well, good morning, my lovelies. And welcome to a bright-ish, slightly breezy, quite nippy, Tuesday morning. I hope you're all well. I know, lovelies. I said to you a couple of weeks ago, I was going to have to start doing afternoon videos because when we, when we go out in the morning, it's dark. But since the clock's gone back, it's been getting lighter at seven o'clock. So we can come back to doing this for a little bit until it all changes again. Well, it's just started to get light. Um, and it's this quite strange orangey colour. Really weird. Don't know if you're about to pick it up on camera. Um, but just over there, can you see the colour of the sky? That's like a dirty pink colour. Look at it. It's quite strange. And then we've got blue sky over there. Wow. So lovely. Less chat, more ramble. Um. Yeah. Well, we've hit our first day of November. And so far, so good. But November always seems to leave me a little bit flat. Um, it sort of, for me, it sort of has that January feel. You know, when you've had, for the whole of December, you've had all the hype of Christmas and, you know, organising and buying stuff for Christmas. And then you have Christmas Day and Boxing Day and, yeah. And then you come to January, you have New Year, and then you come to January, and you feel a bit, a bit deflated. November does that for me. Um, I think it's because we have spent the whole of October indulging in the spooky season. There's been, excuse me, I guess I need. Oh dear, excuse me. There's been, you know, lots and lots of spooky bits and bobs in the shops from decorations to food to costumes and makeup and party wear. Um, and then, you know, you go into the cafes and everything's pumpkin spiced. <laughs> And then like you're at the supermarket and everybody's hunting for pumpkin, bigger the better. So you get it all home and you get it all organised. Then you've got to decorate your house, which as was done at the beginning of October. And I apologise for not making a video. It's not the time. Um, so you decorate your house and you decorate your front garden. And... Uh, you start carving your pumpkins and if you're anything like me you have to make goodie bags for the kids so this year we did we did about 60 60 hands so it's a latex glove and we fill them with sweets um, and little things like you know plastic spiders and stuff like that tie knot in it and the kids love them so they demolished those and then I made 50 Halloween cupcakes they ate all those which I don't mind so yeah you know you make your, your goodie bags up and this way today baby and you make your your cakes and your things if you like me Sort your costume out. Because yes, I have a costume. So you sort that out. And then Halloween arrives, Sarwin arrives. You get really excited. And for me and for my daughter Jem, we we do a fright night. So we have lots of junk food um, and pizzas and then we'll sit and watch classic horror movies and every year's a theme 
Um, so this year, it was 80s horror. Cheesy 80s horror. Um, so yeah, and then the kids come round and that's the most exciting part of it. When the kids come round with their trick or treats, dressed up in costumes. Um, it's been a joy. We had one little lad who came round about five o'clock. I think he'd been at it all day. He'd, uh, he got a tote bag and it was that heavy and that full of sweets. He couldn't carry it. I was like, leave it on, mate. We've had Adams, Wednesday Adams. We've had Winifred and her sisters. Witches, loads of witches. Mummies, Draculas, you name it, we've had it. And it's been lovely. And then, you get up, you get up on November the 1st, and it's gone, you know? All that spooky fun for a month. And you get up and it's gone. And then, you know, you're feeling a bit, a bit flat, a bit bored. Because there's not a lot that really goes on in November. Um, we don't have any pagan holidays in November. This way, baby. So, so yeah. I don't know if you can see. Let me show you. You see the pink sky and then all those beautiful trees in their autumn colours. It's quite a weird colour this morning, lovelies. It really is. It's a really, really weird colour. That's better. Put it back. Um, yeah, this just got light. So yeah, that was October for me. Spooky season, Sarwin, too much food, dressing up. Waiting for the kids to come round, decorating your house. So now it's going to be quiet for the next month. And then we've got December and we've got Yule. And Yule and Sarwin are my, one of my favourite Sabbaths. So... That was my October in a nutshell. <laughs> so lovelies, we're going to finish our walk off and then I'm off to work. How exciting. <laughs> so, I hope you all have an absolutely terrific Tuesday. Do look after yourselves, lovelies. And remember, if you're struggling, please reach out because there's always somebody there that will help you. Look after one another. It's important. And if nothing else in the world, lovelies, please be kind. Because you don't know what that other person's going through that stood next to you. And from me and Wu, yes, you Wu, on this beautifully bright <coughs> Tuesday morning, thank you for shouting. Want a sweetie? Go on then. We're sending you all much love and many blessings.